There are no shortage of issues with North Korea being front and center. Iran will be an issue. Syria will certainly be talked about. Um, terrorism efforts and how we counter that is is a huge topic um, on what we're dealing with, and obviously the humanitarian issues that we face around the world. So, with that, I think the General Assembly is going to be quite active next week, and I think the U.S. is going to be very strong next week, and we look forward to a very good week. Uh, Gentlemen, Senator. Yes. Thank you, General. Uh, my question is about North Korea, which is perhaps the biggest foreign policy challenge for President Trump right now. About a month ago, the President uh, issued a threat to North Korea. He warned of fire and fury. And as you know, Ambassador, at the UN Security Council, uh, you've imposed tougher uh, sanctions on North Korea. Uh, both of these efforts do not seem to be changing their behavior. Uh, is it time for the U.S. to change its approach to North Korea? Is that something that you're contemplating? And, General, if you could weigh on this as well, I appreciate it. I think what was really important with North Korea was that we try and push through as many diplomatic options as we have. If you look at the resolutions that have passed in the last month, the two of them, they cut 30 percent of the oil. They banned all the laborers. They banned 90 percent of the exports. They banned uh, joint ventures. We've basically taken, and in the words of North Korea, we have strangled their economic situation at this point. That's going to take a little bit of time, but it has already started to take effect. What we are seeing is they continue to be provocative. They continue to be reckless. And at that point, you know, there's not a whole lot the Security Council is going to be able to do from here when you've cut 90 percent of the trade and 30 percent of the oil. So having said that, I have no problem kicking it to General Mattis because I think he has plenty of options.